Hello once again my fellow Jetty users and this video is about putting three separate functions onto one stick. Specifically we're going to use what we would call the throttle stick here and on it we're going to put a throttle, a flap control and butterfly control but obviously not all working exactly at the same time but selected by a three-way switch. And the thought for this came about due to a question from a chap called Milan, and this was asked on Jetty's own Facebook uh, page when they put up their uh, weekly Friday uh, Ask Jetty a Question, uh, and they would link to their own FAQ, and uh, Milan asked a separate question there because he's having trouble solving this. So uh, I've zoomed out the camera a little bit just so you can see uh, some movement of the throttle stick because it'll be important so you can understand what's going on and hopefully you can still see the screen as well. So what do we want to do? Uh, well we've got a three position switch over here and we'll s switch between selecting this stick as running the motor, operating a proportional flap and operating the butterfly in the bottom position. So let's have a look at what we have to do. So we've created the basic model with its uh, two flaps, two ailerons. And in the functions assignment, it's very important to remove the flaps control. Clear that out. Say OK. So there's no control for the flaps. Okie doke. Next, we go to fine tuning and we'll create flight modes. And we can label them. I'll call that one motor. Okay, come down, we'll call that one flap. Mm -hmm. Okay to that, and then the last one can be butterfly. We'll just rename the default mode. There's no need to create additional modes on top of default. Okay. <clears throat> and then the switch is going to be, well, I'll have switch up for motor. So switch up. Okay. The flap can be in the mid position of the switch, okay, and then down switch, nothing else is left, it's going to go to butterfly mode. Righty-o. Um, what else do we need to do? Right, well, uh, the only time we want the motor to run is when the motor is in the up position. So we can use the throttle lock simply to lock out the motor in the other two positions. How do we go about that? We go into other model options, come down to throttle cut, I'll put the switch in the middle position. I'll select up, which is actually motor run as my throttle cut position. The reason being it's now switched on the throttle cut when actually I want it, the motor to run, and it's switched it off in the other two positions. So if I reverse it, it's now no throttle cut in the motor run position and throttle cut in the other two positions. Say OK to that. Let's have a look at the servo then. Here's my throttle servo. I'm in the motor run position, motor run mode. Motor's running, throttle's working. If I move to any other mode, see my throttle is locked out. Lovely, so that's taken care of that. Back to fine tuning, uh, we come down to butterfly flaps. Now we need to change it to separate, so it's per flight mode. Notice now we get a control for every individual flight mode. So in the motor, I don't want to do anything with the butterfly flap, so I'll leave that control blank. Nothing will happen. Go to flap, 
come down here, move, throttle stick, say OK. Come down to my ailerons flaps adjustment. I'll go for a flap. I'll allow 50% travel at full flap. OK to that, let's have a look at the effect. The switch is in the flap position. We're in flap mode. So when I move the stick, the throttle should not move. But servos three, uh, sorry, five and six, which are the flaps, should move. There we go. Move the stick fully forward. I've got 50% flap. Come back, no flap. So there we go. We've got control of the flaps proportionally, no motor. Okay to that. Now let's move the switch to the butterfly position. Come back up, select a control. There we go. Say okay to that. Come down to our ailerons flaps adjustment. We'll allow, say, 50% up aileron and 100% down flap. Let's have a look at what that does. Now, as I move the stick, no butterfly, full butterfly, no throttle working. Okay, I move back to the flap mode. Notice throttle doesn't work, but we get the 50% flaps. And I come back to motor mode. I get throttle, but nothing happening with the ailerons or flaps. And there you go, nice and straightforward. However, that's not the way I would want it. The reason being, I would want uh, stick fully forward to be no butterfly and no flaps. Whereas, of course, with this way, we've got flaps or full butterfly. Uh, what's going to ha happen is, especially, you know, in my mind, bringing the stick back should bring the butterfly on because that's more of a brake effect, like no throttle. So if you have your butterfly this way around, it's, it's working the opposite way to throttle. However, that can be done easily enough, but there is a snag. You're in motor mode. Yep. You bring the motor off. If you were to now switch to uh, the butterfly flat mode and you've reversed them, then they're going to come on at full strength. So how do we overcome that? Uh, well, straightforward enough. If you look uh, at one of my other videos about having a uh, throttle and butterfly on the same stick, you will find uh, there is a version there where I do exactly this by using the uh, extra safe throttle cut and uh, reversing it as an extra safe version to bring in the butterfly, although in this case we'll bring in the flap because it's the midway one. What do I mean? Uh, well, if we just have a look initially at the servos, I'll go to motor mode. Here we are, throttle works. Now, I'll put the throttle stick at middle. I'll go to flap mode. Throttle's cut, but the flaps don't come on. The flaps won't engage at all as I move the stick until I move the stick all the way forward. And now the flaps will engage. There we go. And I'll move the stick part way up. I'll come out of flap mode back into motor mode, but even though the stick is up, some way up, all the way up, the motor won't come back on until I get the throttle stick all the way back and now it re-engages. How have we done that? That is through um, the logic switches. We're here, we can see T1 for throttle 1 and throttle 2. Uh, these are set up exactly as my video on the extra safe throttle cut or if you want to look at it, my video, uh, it's one of the later episodes on having throttle and butterfly on the same stick. So you can find out from those how it's done. And then you have to do the same for the flaps, but the third mode gives you the proportionality of it. And then you assign that T2 and reverse it as the throttle cut switch. You assign F3 as the control in the butterfly. Let's have a look there. So the other model options, the throttle cut now becomes the logic two switch reversed. Okay. And in fine tuning, 
in the butterfly flaps. Once again, separate motor, no control. Flap is now set to that logic switch 5. Yeah, and then you can leave butterfly just as P4 because I will assume that you've pushed the stick all the way forward to get rid of the flaps before you bring in the butterfly flaps. So there we go. So we're in butterfly mode, throttle doesn't work. We've set our butterfly to work from the top of the stick downwards rather than the bottom of the stick upwards just by reversing the input. Go to flap. There we go, pull the stick back, we get flap. Take the flap off, no butterfly. Switch it back to motor mode, but the motor stays locked out until I bring the stick all the way back. And now it re-engages. Okay, so it's possible to have all three uh, set up exactly how you want them, whichever directions you want them, all on the one stick, switched by a three-way switch.